First tonight, a deadly wrong way crash. Three women are killed after a head-on collision on Route 95. It happened over the Rhode Island border in Old Lyme, Connecticut. Police say the driver of the car that was traveling in the wrong direction is from Warwick. This tragic accident took place just one day after the National Transportation Safety Board released an investigative report focusing solely on wrong way crashes. We have end up coverage tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan has more on the findings from that report. But first, let's go to Susan Campbell, who's live with the latest on the crash. Mike and Susan, police tell me they haven't filed any charges against the wrong way driver, and they say tonight he's listed in serious but stable condition at a hospital in Connecticut. Twisted metal and shattered glass. That's all that remains of two cars involved in a deadly crash on 95 South. It happened Tuesday night near exit 70 in Old Lyme, Connecticut. The scene was simply stated was chaotic. It was uh, a massive impact on the front end of both vehicles. Uh, there was debris on the highway. Connecticut State Police tell Eyewitness News a wrong way driver from Warwick crashed head on into a Nissan Maxima. The three women in that car were pronounced dead on the scene. They've been identified as 71 year old Tamara Nolan, 90 year old Marjorie Minori, and 63 year old Barbara Prado. The wrong way driver, 51 year old Frank Sundstrom, was flown to the hospital suffering from serious injuries. Now investigators are trying to figure out what caused that collision that claimed three lives. We will examine the vehicles. Uh, we'll, we'll determine if there's any vehicle failure, any medical conditions, any alcohol, any drugs, all that checklist that we always do. I-95 was shut down in both directions. It reopened just before 4 o'clock Wednesday morning. Police tell me it could take several weeks weeks to complete their investigation. Now today we also spoke to the family of the driver. They asked for privacy during this difficult time. Live with the mobile newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.